Hello everybody, welcome back to another Adobe Photoshop CC 2021 tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to use Split Warp. And not only am I going to show you how to use it, I'm going to show you how to selectively and specifically warp local areas or sections of an image and not the rest of it. What am I talking about? Let's look at this pupper dog's ears. This is the final version that I've done. This was the original version. Now, this looks great. This is a perfectly good picture. In the next version that I've done split warping on, the ears have gotten bigger, which is great. But what you're going to notice is nothing else on the dog grew in size. His face, his head, his eyes, nothing changed except his ears. That is the power of split warp, and I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and delete this layer. We're going to start from scratch. Here is the original image of the puppy dog. The first step is you want to take this image and drag and drop it on the plus icon at the bottom right. This creates a duplicate layer and it allows us to compare and contrast the um, effects as after we're done. So making sure you're selected on the top layer, we're going to go up to edit and you want to left click on edit and then you're going to go to transform and you're going to go to warp. So let's go ahead and do that. Edit, transform, warp. Okay, this is the original warp, and this is a great tool. I'll just go ahead and make some changes. You can see here I'm increasing the size of the ears, but notice how when I pull and distort it that the face goes with it, the ears, the eyes, it's all being distorted. So we don't want that. So edit, transform, warp, like I just did there. Now, the next step is you want to go to Edit, Transform, and now you'll see Split Warp. We've got Split Warp Horizontally, Split Warp Vertically, and Split Warp Crosswise. We're going to be using Horizontal and Vertical in this one, but Crosswise is also good, and I'll show you it at the end. So Split Warp Horizontally, I'm going to left-click on it, and you're going to see here that I get this line. Now, what I'm going to do to show you how this works is I'm going to create this split warp, I'm just going to put it right above the puppy dog's ears, right there. Okay, good. Now I'm going to go back to Edit, Transform, and at Split Warp, and I'm going to do another horizontal split warp. You can actually have multiple lines or multiple split warps. So I'm going to go ahead and put this one, <clears throat> this one, excuse me, right underneath his ears, because in this tutorial, we are just going to split warp the ears and nothing else, none of the face or any of that other stuff. Okay, good. Hopefully you're following along with me. Edit, Transform, Split Warp, but instead of Horizontal, we're going to go Vertically. And where are we going to put this one? We're going to put this one right here, right at the edge of the face and the ear. I'm going to drop that Horizontal, and I'm going to drop that Vertical right here. Okay, Edit, Transform, Split Warp, Vertically again, and we're going to do the same to the other side, right about there. Okay, so the only part that we're really not working with is this insertion here right at the right at the where the ear joins the head but that isn't really a big deal because we really want to work on the edges of the face so let's go ahead and get to work now when I click on I'm just gonna click on one of these points I'm gonna show you what happens we're working on the ears right so when I click this point and I drag it see how the ear is getting bigger so let's go ahead and really do a job on this. Let's get some really big friggin' ears on this guy right there. Okay, good. But the face and everything else did not go with it. I'm going to go ahead and click on this point and drag that one out so it's not a really thin ear, but with a, you need some width. you got to make it look believable. And you can also go ahead and click on these points and just drag them as you think the best places. So this one here would be a handle. Let's take that handle out here. Okay, let's really go for it. You could take this one here. I'm going to move that one up. That does move the face, though. So I'm going to go ahead and not adjust that one. But you can adjust a little bit and not have to worry about it. But again, you can just select this point here. Maybe make it a little wider. I mean, honestly, you got lots of options. Let's go to the left side here or the right side, depending on which side you're looking from. And we're going to make his ear bigger here. And then we're going to move this handle up. Nope, we're not going to do that. Command Z. Sorry, that was the wrong one. I'm going to pull this one, and I'm going to make his ear a little wider there. It looks a little weird and distended, but that's okay. I'm just wanting to show you how this works. And if you feel like you need even further 
uh, you want to make more split warps, you can always just go up here and go to Edit, Transform, Split Warp. And if you want another horizontal, a vertical, or a crosswise, let's do a crosswise just for the heck of it. You can see here that this gives you sort of like a T shape. And then you can go ahead and I can put one right here, for example. And this creates another mesh. So we can go ahead and start extending this mesh. And we can extend that one. And we can do this one, but it won't do anything. Um, but you'll see here that what we're doing, go ahead and change that a little wider. Um, this is how split warp works, guys. You can go ahead and make specific warps to specific regions. It's an amazing tool, and I hope this tutorial helped you. I'll be back soon with some more stuff. Stay tuned.